Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kiyosha, and I'm here with my July. Now I know it's really late considering we've almost made it through half of August. Yeah, I'm really late for my July favorites. However, better late than never. So let's jump right into it. The first item is gonna be from my Bath and Body Works haul that you saw when they had their semi-annual sale. It is this body mist and it is in the scent. Dolce Berry is from the Venice Collection, and this has been literally my signature go-to spritz, body mist, or whatever you want to call it for the last month or so, maybe even longer. But since I purchased this, this has been my signature scent. As you can tell, look, half of the bottle is gone. I believe I paid like $3 for this, and it's originally $12.50, so I got this for a the, the next thing I'm going to show you is going to be something that I use every single day. And it's going to be the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is in shade 340. Look, it's empty. Yes. I use this every single day. I just purchased more. I need to do an empties video. But this has literally been my go-to foundation. I have this in the press powder. And I also have it in the shine free uh, stick in the same color because I can just draw it on when I'm on the go this literally takes me about five minutes to do my whole face and it's my actual color so sometimes I put them together even though they're the same color it kind of works and it smooths my skin out a little more considering that I don't have much time in the morning because I refuse to get up extra early to put on a brand new <laughs> the next items are gonna be concealers and I must say I've been going back and forth with both of these concealers because one even though it's concealer I use it as a contour I use it for contouring my face my nose the side of my face and some of the dark spots that I have on my face that I want to blend in more with my skin now don't get me wrong I am NOT a professional makeup artist however this works for me so this is black radiance and it is in the color ca8020 and i found this at one of my local family dollars actually i like that it had the stick at the top but i've used that so much that now i have to go to the liquid that's at the bottom and i like that because it's two and one so i have that the spindle piece with the liquid at the bottom and it's in the same color as the stick that's at the top it's, I think it's a part of their perfect match series or their perfect match collection and I really like this this black radiance and it fits my face perfectly. the next concealer that I picked up was actually from the Rimmel London match perfection and this is in the color 430 medium this is a actual brighter concealer that I use for the highlighting underneath my eyes my nose down the center of my face and you know my well yeah my chin area I actually came across this in Sun Alba's uh, Sun Kiss Alba's video she mentions that she had this and I went and got it in the color that was um, kind of similar to me to do the highlighting I like it because it has a little brush applicator at the top so I can just squeeze it, do that, and then get my, you know, highlighting on. This was very affordable. I believe this was about $5, if that. And the Black Radiance, this one that I got from the Family Dollar was about $7. But that's because it was from Family Dollar. It's a little more in Family Dollar than it would be at Walmart or at CVS or Walmart. The last item uh, for the face is going to be this new black radiance uh, pressed powder that I got and this is in shade 8603 in golden almond and this bad boy right here I just actually purchased this week but it had to make it into my favorites because this is one of the pressed powders that works for me it holds everything in place when I use the liquid foundation and it's a tad bit lighter than I am so it keeps it in and it doesn't make me look ashy I hate when I have a pressed powder that I put on top of the liquid to keep it 
<clears throat> the stay fresh look all day and make it a little more matte this has been gods and i can't believe i found this i found this in walmart and this was five dollars as well so i am really loving the black radiance line again i'm not a professional makeup artist this is what works for me this is what works for me i can't say it enough this is what works for me so i'm loving the black radiance line I like their concealer, I like their pressed powder, and I'm going to go back and get some of their lipstick to see if I like that as I well. I have been obsessed with these two items. And if you look on my lips, this is currently what I'm wearing right now. This is Wet n Wild, and this is Just Peachy. I line my lips up with the Just Peachy um, lip liner from Wet n Wild, which was about probably $2 at the most. And this lipstick was it's normally three dollars but it was on sale for 99 cent i believe i got it a while ago in walgreens and you can tell by the top it's been through but this things. shade is amazing this is what's on my lips right now with this lip gloss on top of it you will probably see this in every single video that i make because this is my go-to lip gloss I had such a horrible time trying to figure out what lip gloss I could use that wouldn't break my lips out because if it has shimmer in it, then it cuts my lips because I'm so sensitive. And if it has SPF in it, then my lips blow up like a blowfish because I'm allergic to sunscreen. And if it has scents in it, then I blow up like a blowfish. So my lips are so sensitive that I finally found one lip gloss that works for me. And this is my go-to lip gloss. This is... NYX is in the color barely there or new something like that and it's only a dollar and 29 cent at Walmart but this works you can tell it doesn't even have the label on it anymore I use it so much and if you look at my makeup bag I probably have like five more of these because every single time I go on Walmart I pick one up or if I go in Dollar General I pick one up if I go in Family Dollar I pick one up because I have to have this particular type of lip gloss or else I'm going to wake up and not know who that person looking in the mirror is. The last and final item that I have on my July favorites list is going to be this new Lutra Silk Curling Pudding. I've been trying to get my hair more defined, my real hair. As you all know, if you don't know, I'm natural and I've been natural for about 40 years now. But my hair still hasn't reverted back to its natural curl pattern all over so my roots are really really wavy they don't have a defined curl and i want it to be more curly so i got this to do my bantu knots and it works when i did my bantu knots however it still does not quite curl all the way so i still I'm going to look for something else that really, really, really helps it. I've tried the curly girls. I've tried the kinky girls. I've tried the curls. That doesn't work for me. And I'm just on the lookout for something that really is going to help my hair revert back to its natural curl pattern. Maybe I am a wavy chick. Maybe I'm not a curly chick. And I want to be a curly chick so bad. I want us to have that natural kinky look. But my hair just will not get nappy. It will not kink up. It won't get that natural texture that everybody has. Mine's is more white black, I would say. If that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I got this from Walmart, and this was $5. Everything in this haul literally was about $5 or under. So, that is why I love them. And um, if you looked at my other video, you will know that I did this with this accessory haul. And I feel like this is going to make it into my August favorites because I still haven't yet to take it off. But that is everything in my July favorites. I will try to link everything below if I can find something similar I will link that everything that I got is uh, actually available in your local Walmart for about five dollars or less so just go ahead and check it out on the beauty selection and the makeup selection and the hair selection so that is all for July favorites thank you for watching as always, don't forget to comment and rate. Give me a thumbs up if you like my favorite videos. And if you want more, just comment below and let me know what your favorites were for June. And I'll see you in the next video.